The lithium-ion battery has become the standard in the EV market. However, it has various limitations that impair EV performance. Many automobile manufacturers are racing to develop the greatest battery to stay ahead of the competition. Toyota is one of the pioneers, with its solid-state battery having finally entered the market. If you order a battery electric car today, it will almost certainly come with a lithium-ion battery. Lithium-ion batteries have grown so common in today's technology that they may be found almost anywhere. Lithium-ion batteries power your phone as well as your laptop and a variety of other devices you may not be aware of. Lithium-ion batteries are far superior to lead-acid batteries, as evidenced by the electric vehicle sector. Electric vehicles were severely limited in range before Tesla showed the world what lithium-ion batteries could achieve by placing them in its first car, the Roadster. The Roadster, on the other hand, demonstrated that an electric automobile, particularly one with great performance, could travel more than 200 miles before needing to be recharged. Since then, the lithium-ion battery has improved significantly, resulting in lower procurement costs. The lithium-ion battery, on the other hand, has its own set of issues that are holding EVs behind. Battery scientists have been on the lookout for the next big thing in the business to address these difficulties. In the shape of its solid-state battery, Toyota has discovered the next big thing in batteries. What are the issues with lithium-ion batteries that Toyota helps to address with the new solid-state battery? To properly appreciate Toyota's excellent work with a new battery, it's vital to understand. Lithium-ion batteries demand more safeguarding. Lithium-ion batteries are not as durable as other rechargeable technologies that require protection from being severely overcharged and depleted. Aside from that, lithium-ion batteries must be maintained within safe parameters. As a result, every lithium-ion battery requires protective circuitry to maintain safe limits, which is a big drawback. It adds to the complexity and the cost of the project. It also makes recycling a challenge. Lithium-ion batteries are also rather heavy. The battery may account for nearly a third of the vehicle's weight. This causes the tires to wear out faster. The designers must also balance the weight distribution of the automobile, which adds to the development difficulty. Furthermore, lithium-ion battery performance degrades over time. Even though lithium-ion battery life is lengthy, it never stays the same. Lithium-ion batteries' efficacy and performance tend to deteriorate over time. Furthermore, whether or not they are in use, lithium-ion batteries can degrade their functionality. In addition to utilization, the falling capacity has a temporal component. Another drawback of lithium-ion batteries is that they cannot be used at higher temperatures. Lithium-ion batteries can catch fire and become explosive. When an EV is involved in an automobile accident, this danger increases. Lithium-ion batteries, on the other hand, are adversely affected by extreme cold. The driving range is severely reduced, particularly during winter. Charging the battery takes longer in colder temperatures for identical reasons. However, the expense of EV lithium batteries is likely the most significant disadvantage. These batteries are costly due to the materials needed, particularly in the cathode, which includes cobalt, nickel, and other rare metals. Prices change due to supply chain fluctuations. Although battery prices are decreasing, they remain high. But never mind, as the solid-state battery is now introduced by none other than Toyota. Yes, it's reality. Toyota isn't the only corporation working on solid-state batteries, as previously stated. Samsung, for example, is interested in solid-state batteries and develops the popular Galaxy Phone brand. QuantumScape is a solid-state battery company that has garnered over a billion dollars in finance. It has the backing of over 17 investors. Brightvolt is another solid-state battery business with a strong presence. Fisker made so much noise over solid-state batteries that the company decided to abandon the project. None of these firms, however, come close to Toyota's pace or several innovations. However, how does a solid-state battery function? Solid-state batteries, surprisingly, have a lot in common with regular lithium-ion batteries. The sole difference is that instead of a liquid electrolyte, a solid electrolyte is used in a solid-state battery. Glass, ceramic, and other materials can be utilized for this purpose. Solid electrodes and solid electrolytes are used in solid-state batteries. Oxide, sulfides, phosphates, polyethers, polyesters, nitrile-based, polysiloxane, and polyurethane are among the solid electrolytes. The kind of electrolyte utilized affects the battery's performance. Because of their greater elastic moduli, ceramics are ideal for stiff battery systems. Polymers, on the other hand, make lower elastic moduli suitable for flexible devices. The operation of solid-state batteries is similar to that of lithium-ion batteries. 
the anode and cathode are comprised of electrically conducting materials, while electrolyte remains between the two electrodes, confining the charge to iron particles. Between the cathodes, lithium ions move through the electrolyte. Current is created by the movement of charged particles in a certain direction. Charging occurs when ions travel from the cathode to the anode, or from the positive electrode to the negative electrode. Similarly, ions moving in the opposite direction from the anode to the cathode drain the battery and supply the current to the load. So what does the Toyota solid-state battery have to offer? Even though we said the batteries are identical to normal lithium-ion batteries, it has a lot to offer. When compared to lithium-ion batteries, solid-state batteries have a two and a half time and a higher energy density. This implies Toyota can greatly expand the driving range of its electric vehicles while maintaining the same size, battery size and mass. Toyota might be on the verge of developing the first electric vehicle with a range of more than 1,000 miles. Solid-state batteries are more robust and safer than traditional batteries. This is due to the non-flammable solid electrolyte used in solid-state batteries, which makes them less likely to catch fire. Solid-state batteries, on the other hand, are less costly and more compact. Furthermore, because solid-state batteries are less in weight, Toyota's automobiles will be lighter, allowing the battery to survive even longer on the road. With less bulk, the operation consumes less energy. Solid-state batteries recharge four to six times faster than ordinary batteries. This is a significant benefit because one of the most common complaints about electric vehicles is their charging times. A typical EV can take up to an hour to completely charge, which can be inconvenient for drivers on longer journeys who must stop to recharge the battery. It's also a thorny issue for fleet operators whose time is money. Solid-state batteries, on the other hand, would enable Toyota to produce cars that can charge in under 10 minutes, which is not terrible when compared to automobiles powered by internal combustion engines. So, how far has Toyota progressed with its solid-state battery technology? Well, it's come a long way and has left everyone else behind. The Japanese firm has a functional prototype that can run entirely on its solid-state battery. It seems in the company's video to be a variant of Toyota's LQ Ideas, which debuted as an AI and self-driving demonstration at the 2019 Tokyo Motor Show. It has since been included in a series of ads promoting the Tokyo Olympic Games. It has only been described as a battery electric car thus far. It does, however, have a prominent sticker declaring that it is an all-solid-state battery in this edition. A prototype, rather than being a static model, was filled and driven along the road under its power. Shiro Takimoto, Toyota's VP of Mobility Communications, reveals that his business has received a license plate registration and done test drives for vehicles equipped with all solid-state batteries. Toyota has already announced the first vehicles to be equipped with the new solid-state battery. Gil Pratt, Toyota's chief scientist and head of the Toyota Research Institute, stated in an interview that the first Toyotas to receive the new batteries will be hybrids rather than completely electric vehicles. The decision was made for practical reasons by the firm. The smaller battery in a hybrid gets charged and recharged significantly more frequently. The increased quantity of battery cycling, according to the press, will make hybrids an excellent test bed for the new technology. As a result, the battery will improve even more before being utilized in a BEV that you could purchase. Well, summing up all these, let us know what you think of Toyota's new solid-state battery. Has the era of conventional batteries come to an end? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Having said that, we have reached the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If yes, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up, and it's high time for you to subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on to get all the updates on our works. See you soon. Until then, peace.